Welcome back to my nursery. It's Misty here and today we're actually chilling out in my crib. So um, I'm actually going to be doing a few videos this week just trying to experiment with some um, different areas of my home and the lighting. We have some really kind of yucky weather going on outside here in Florida so um, I'm trying to find a place with some better lighting. But I have an announcement to make today. I am super excited to announce that I have finally ordered my first silicone doll. So I am, I'm so excited guys. I'm so excited to get this baby. I've been waiting so, so long to get a silicone baby and um, this baby is a little girl and she is a full bodied silicone and I went out and got some things for her because she is a fairly large baby. She's gonna be 22 inches and she weighs like eight pounds, eight ounces. So she is gonna be a big baby. Her artist said that it's gonna be about six weeks. I'm supposed to get her sometime around Halloween. So she's gonna be a little October baby. She's gonna be a Halloween baby, um, but you know, she may get done sooner. I don't know. I've had that happen to me before. So um, four to six weeks is going to be the wait. So I'm going to go over a little tiny haul. I didn't get a ton of stuff for her. Um, I need to really wait and see how big this little girl is going to be. There are some rules with silicone babies. You really cannot put them with your vinyl babies and you can't have them touching and you can't have them wearing the same clothes or having the same items because they can cause a reaction between the silicone and the vinyl. So I really wanted to get some stuff for this baby that are just for her. This is gonna be a little haul for her. I just wanna show you what I have so far and I'm not buying anything else until she gets here and I can kinda of judge you know, what kind of clothes that she's gonna need and what she will wear. So. Um, I already had these little scratch mittens. I've been looking all over for some cute scratch mittens for her and I really can't find the colors I'm looking for. I'm really excited just to get some like light pinks and florals and things like that. And I do have some girls scratch mittens. Um, I have several pairs that I don't use too much so I may just grab from my box of newborn stuff and hopefully um, I'll try these on her and just see if newborn will fit her. Um, she may need like zero to six month size, I don't know. So I just have these, um, I didn't purchase these, these were just already in a box I had. So, um, and then I got this little blanket. I want her to have her own blanket. This is so soft. Um, it's parents choice. I got it from Walmart, but it really felt silky soft. It's not like any kind of name brand. I'm not too into brand names. I just pick out whatever's cute, whatever I like for my babies. I really don't care about brand names. It doesn't have to be any brand. If I like it, I'm going to buy it. So enough for that rant because she is going to be like, a fall baby and I'm not really sure when I'm getting her. I do have a little special outfit that I have for her that I did buy for her. Um, I hope it fits. I'm going to wash it and it will probably shrink down a little bit. And this is by Carter's and it's three months. And it's a little fall outfit and it has little pumpkins on it and it has um, like little squirrels, which I just think is perfect because if any of you have been watching my channel, you know that I fell in love with two little baby squirrels that I was trying to rescue and take care of. So I thought that was super cute and it has little turkeys on it. So it's just such a cute little fall themed outfit and it has little turkeys on the feet. I love these little go, 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 go. So, so cute, so cute. I wish that it had like a little pumpkin or a turkey on the butt. I thought that would have been really cute, but um, I know Carter's does that usually with their little pants. But I just thought this sweet little headband would be super cute with this outfit and it's kind of like a fall like mustardy type color so and it's really soft it's like almost like a sheer like pantyhose type material and I thought that would be really soft for her I'm trying to pick things that are soft so I just happened to go into Walmart because I didn't have anything for her and I like I said I don't know what size she wears so at first I was just going to pick out two outfits. <laughs> guys, guys, what is wrong with me? 
Um, clearance, that's what's wrong with me. I'll tell you that right now. So I wanted like a little pajama set for when she got here. And so I picked out this outfit and it was not on clearance. I'd already picked this out with the little like owls and stars and this has like little owls on the feet and this is by Child of Mine by Carter's and it is zero to three months. Um, this is plenty big and I think when I wash it, it will shrink a little bit, but it's gotta fit her. This looks huge to me and they only had zero to three months or three to six months to choose from and she definitely will not fit in three to six months. That'll just be like way too big. So I got this cute little outfit for her and I wanted that for her first night home and then um, I wanted something I can like dress her into and like do a cute little bow or a hat and this is like a little jacket outfit and you guys I love the mountains I love anything that's like woodland creature themed and I could not pass up something for a little girl that had little bears on it and it has a little pink bow that says hello and that's on a little onesie underneath and it has little pants too that match it so cute and it's hooded and has little ears <laughs> oh my goodness it has cute little ears so she's gonna look so beautiful in that i was so excited about that not on clearance okay so i had my two outfits picked out i was good to go and then that's when i found the clearance rack so i definitely think that zero to three months is going to fit her if it doesn't i am a reborn artist i can use these outfits for babies that are going home as gifts to pack in box openings or to dress them up in so that's what i figured with these guys how do you pass these up three dollars look at these little bloomers oh my gosh little sweet dresses with bloomers i don't have anything like this and this is the first time i can really go kind of sleeveless she's a full body silicone and she's gonna look so cute in this i couldn't resist because i don't have anything like this for like a full body silicone. I don't dress my regular babies like this. And if you know me and you've seen what I dress my babies in from watching my channel, you will know that I love to dress my babies in snuggly pajamas, like snuggly soft clothes. I don't get too, too dressy or crazy unless I'm dressing this vintage Vivi and she wears some dressy clothes. So um, I found another one with strawberries on it. Strawberries, guys, I'm an 80s child. I loved strawberry shortcake. She was my favorite and I couldn't resist the little bloomers. Oh my God, you guys. I cannot stink and wait to dress her in these freaking bloomers. They are so cute. Three dollars. How do you pass up three dollars? Some stuff was a dollar. And then I came across this. Now, I do not normally dress my babies in dark colors. I am gonna have to thoroughly wash this and I know that this is like kind of like a, this doesn't have bloomers, it's like a full piece. It looks like it has a onesie underneath, but it's like all one piece. This is all one piece, zero to three months. I remember like, I think these were called like little apron front dresses when I was a little girl. This reminds me of something I would have wore when I was little in like ladybugs. Ladybugs, look at these cute little ladybugs. This will look so cute with some little red shoes and a little red headband or bow. Wow, I thought that would just be so cute, okay? And then, then I saw this one. Oh, guys, $3, $3, I couldn't help it, $3. Okay, you guys all know for the girls, usually for the boys, it's woodland theme. For the girls, it's unicorns and rainbows. And it has polka dots on it that are sparkly. I don't know if you can see these like shimmery. Look at those little sparkles. That is so cute with the little unicorn. I'm so pumped. So she's got a little romper now. And then, okay, so this ended up in here. So, as you guys know from my last video, I have Mr. Rylan Parker. He's such a sweet baby. I didn't have a lot of stuff for him either. He's in that three to six month size. He's a big boy. 
And like I said, I don't have a lot of clothes in this size for boys and girls, so he right now is in a pair of pajamas that I dressed him in his first night home, and he has a cute little um, pacifier that's got a dinosaur on it, and his pajamas are like these colors. So this is a cute little romper for him, and I thought he would be super cute in this, and it has the cutest dinosaur on it. I couldn't pass up the colors, it just screamed him, and this was $3 too. It was on clearance rack. It doesn't have like the $3 thing. I think it was originally $6.72, which is a good price as it is, but it was $3. When it rang up, it was on that rack with these clothes. So enough with the clearance. We're good there. So I did have to um, get some things for her at Walmart. I really needed some like silicone, like full silicone pacifiers. I found these gumdrop pacifiers and guys, in her pictures, she has a really large open mouth. Not only can she take a full pacifier, but she looks like she can take a bigger pacifier. Now, I do have some silicone pacifiers for my Twin A by Bonnie Brown, but like I said, she's vinyl, and I don't wanna put silicone pacifiers in her mouth and then switch them back and forth between her and my silicone and ruin her. I will ruin my twin A. So, and she's a preemie, so she takes really tiny pacifiers. So I thought I would get some more silicone pacifiers um, for this baby, this silicone baby, because she's bigger and she needs bigger pacifiers anyway. So I liked the patterns on these. I thought these would match everything with the purple, the blue, the pink. And then this one is like a teal color with like pretty little flowers. I should have taken it out of the package to show you, but I'm sure you'll see it when she gets here. And then these are um, Tommy Tippy ones, ultra light, and the nipple is a little bit thicker. I mean, I know this says zero to six months, but it does look like it has a little bit bigger of a nipple. So I'm gonna try these out and just see um, what works for her. I can always use these for photo props later or send them home with babies. That's the nice thing about being an artist is if my babies can't use something, then I can send them out with other babies. But I found this little pack of Gerber hats. They are zero to six months because she's probably going to have a big old bald head. And I found these like little moons and stars. I'm trying, I know that they have the little mittens out there that match these. And I think they're on Amazon. I don't know. I need to see if I can find zero to six months. This one has like little castles and it's glittery. All these are glittery. They all have like shimmery, glittery stuff on them. So cute. And then I think a plain little pink one, which is perfect for her. So I did get those off of Amazon along with matching onesies. So I don't have any onesies for her in this size and a pet peeve of mine with my Reborns is they all have to be wearing onesies. Mostly it's for the vinyl babies. Um, I'm just trying to protect their bodies, mostly. But I really like keeping onesies on my babies. I don't like their cloth body showing, so it's just a thing for me. And I don't know how I'm gonna feel about a silicone, but I thought with her being a full body silicone, she would look really cute in just like some little socks and a diaper and maybe a hat and some mittens and like in the summertime just have her in a cute little onesie just to show off all her little chunky like thighs and arms and little rolls. But these match her hat so I can do like little matching hats. And I just need to try to find the scratch mittens. I'm hoping I can. If not, like I said, I have some plain pink ones and different ones for my vinyls and I'm just gonna use from them. So since she's a big baby, I have size one diapers, but really with Honest and with Hello Bello, I've noticed they run kind of small. These are more like newborn size to me and I already had these in my closet. And I feel like their newborn sizes are like preemie sizes because they do fit my preemie babies. So I just don't think these are gonna be big enough for her and I don't have any like size two diapers that are for like little baby girls. So 
Um, I did pick up these little Hello Bello diapers and the only ones in the size two were this alphabet print, but I do think these are really cute um, because they could be for boys or girls. So I can use them for babies that are going home if I need to snag a couple of these out or for my bigger babies. Like I, I do have a bigger baby boy now, um, but my two bigger babies, well, all three of my bigger babies wear size three. So um, I've been dressing them in size three clothes. Um, oh, I did get these little cases. Okay, so I thought this would, this is on sale like in the school section at Walmart and I think it's so cute with the rainbow. You guys know me and my rainbows and sparkles and unicorns and it's so weird because I wasn't into that stuff as a kid. <laughs> but I am now, I'm like delayed. I have a delayed childhood going on. So um, I thought this would be really cute to keep all her little headbands in. And then um, I found this little makeup bag. This is only like a dollar. And I thought this would be cute to keep all of her little um, silicone pacifiers in so they don't get like hairs and stuff on them. And like I said, she is going to need a bath when she comes home just because I'm worried about COVID and stuff. And I just want to bathe her one time just to get any hair off or anything that might be on her, any germs or whatever off. It just make me feel better if I'm going to snuggle her and touch her to clean her up. So I will do like a first bath video with her and I have stuff for that and I do want to powder her so she'll be easy to do like her first changing with. But um, this is the stuff that I got for her so far. I think this is plenty. I really don't feel like I need anything more for her. But this has been so much fun, super fun, shopping and trying to find some really cute stuff for this baby girl. Um, it's just made my excitement even higher. I'm like so excited and I can kind of nest and wash these little clothes and fold them and organize them and get them all ready for her when she's about to come home. And I am super excited guys. I will announce when she's on her way and hopefully you'll be seeing a lot of videos with this cute little baby girl. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tiny um, haul video for me preparing for my little silicone to come home. And and I'm super excited to meet this little girl. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this tiny little haul. And guys, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe out there and take care of each other. Bye-bye.